Hey everyone, Colbert here, and today we are in my Affinity Colbert account, and we're gonna do an update on where I'm at and where the competition is at, most importantly, and where I'm trying to go at least uh, in terms of this competition. So we got a few days left until the end of week one. So week one will be um, just counted on where we are in the campaign, basically, and how uh, far we are in, in the dragon uh, dungeon. So if we can farm. The highest possible so dragon 20 is going to be the guy who finishes the uh, dungeon uh, the quickest so uh we're gonna have a look at the champions that i have of course if you guys seen my summons that uh, were hosted on murderings um youtube channel so check him out by the way so um yeah it's corpse collector <laughs> and uh Thanassel. these are my two strongest champions and these are the one that i took to 60 of course i didn't get anything better i didn't get a skull crusher or a relic hero like murder did so I just had to work with what I got and I took these uh, both of these champions to level 60. I also had a gladiator. I took him to level 50, fully ascended uh, most of them. Also an outlaw monk uh, was a good pull. I have him currently with a relentless set. So just having some uh, fun on the clan boss. So first up corpse, corpse collector. I have her 100% uh, crit. As much critical damage as I can, but you guys know, uh, at this stage of the game, any critical damage is just amazing to have. So, uh, 40 speed boots, that's great. These are actually very nice boots with 18% critical rate. So, I also have the Cruel set on, which was a reward, I think, from a mission or yeah, or a challenge or something like that. And the Lifestyle set that you get as a reward for the dailies. This is very good set for a damage dealer. Of course, Corpse Collector is not a damage dealer. She's a support because her basic use is for just applying these poisons and just doing a bit of damage here and applying debuffs, but not she's not a damage dealer, like a very low attack, 1,167. And it's the same thing with Thanasol. Um, yeah, the same thing with Thanasol. He even has way less attack. So I have him at 1,500 attack, but he's also my damage dealer. I use both of them in the campaign, and that's the only way I can farm. I need to use two level 60s in order to clear the campaign currently with the champions that I have. As you can see, guys, I don't have any other champions here. So Thanasel is here fully maxed out with the books because I need the heals, and I also need his damage, so it's a five-turn cooldown. But uh, yeah, it's the... It's the only way. It's the only way I can clear and do something in this uh, in this challenge. So I also have Gladiator, and the reason being is his um, A1. If the target's uh, terminator is over 50%, he applies a decrease attack debuff, and this is great because it's a bigger version of the decrease attack. And I can use him in the clan boss and try to survive a bit more. But it's always he needs to be a bit speed tuned for this to happen. So the boss needs to go. Uh, to be almost at his turn to go so he needs to be a bit uh, quicker than the boss so capital punishment also applies the stun that's good in the dungeons and he got an aoe uh, with a four turn cooldown so yeah he might be even better than these two for farming if i take him to 60 but i don't have the chickens and i can't really farm for xp as efficiently as others and i spent the whole day today when the uh, affinity keep was open to farm potions uh, of course, all the others had the, all the potion dungeons open uh, because they created the, their affinity account later than mine. So that week that everyone gets uh, all the potion keeps open, uh, basically I lost it because we were just waiting for the uh, event to start. So whatever. Um, yeah, this is the Outlaw He's very good for uh, poisons. He's not maxed out. I'm thinking of using just the books on him just to max these out uh, because I'm not can't really find any outlaw monks uh from the mystery shards i've got a ton of mystery shards and these are the champions that i have guys so the way that i approach this is just <laughs> get these two to level 60 and then try and go as far as you can as possible so in the campaign guys you'll be surprised but i managed to reach uh not nightmare actually i reached my nightmare because i've beat i've beaten brutal with both of them uh, but I haven't three star the brutal campaign yet and I'm gonna take you in a run to see how uh, How much of a trouble it is for uh, two force champions to beat uh, stage 12 So let's go to 12 6 first and then we'll go to 12 12 7. So 12 6 I can only beat it with two champions. I can't beat it with one Because yeah, no relic keeper or something like that. So I have to go on um, On manual in here. Just do the AOEs 
see everyone's still alive here and we have that Shazar <laughs> he applied a bomb and he's Corpse yeah, Corpse Collector died there, so that's unlucky RNG. I have to pretty much reset, so I'm losing a bit of resources with this. There is no other way for me to, to run Brutal Guys, and I'm just trying to get through the, the campaign uh, as much as possible. I'm not wasting energy, so it, like this, I did it after I ascended all of them, so I managed to beat uh, stage 12 up to 12.6 once I ascended, ascended all of them because I had a much stronger team than before but yeah I think the Nassau might be able to do uh, wave 2 don't think he can do wave 3 we'll see <laughs> but you see uh, like a one hit a1 uh, an AoE that's a 5 turn cooldown and a heal for an A2 so not a real farmer as you might have thought so I'm really thinking about a, a sister militant just go crazy with a sister militant and whatever but um, yeah, I think it's more efficient to just try to get the fusion for Relic Keeper. I think that's that's my only way to uh, go up in the competition since there is a ton of fusions uh, that are forced, especially for Razin and also the Relic Keeper fusion. So I can actually use the Relic Keeper. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for uh, for that probably. Actually, we did manage to clear it only with the Nasso, basically uh, staying alive there. But yeah, about two minutes uh, for this run, and then I'll show you the craziness that is stage uh, seven. So uh, we go in again, again on manual. Uh, whoa. Okay, she she did her AOE. That's fine. And we need to heal right now. Heal up. We heal up and prepare for um, for wave two. Wave two has two Shazars. Two Shazars apply two bombs each, and it's basically GG. I like there is no way I can survive two bombs from uh, two Shazars. So let's say I do an AOE there, and then I do another AOE. Not enough damage to clear them. So actually one bomb. Okay, there's the two bombs and two bombs, and. Oof. Yeah, even if I heal here, two bombs are too strong uh, versus me. So, yeah, there's no way for me, no way for me currently to three star this. I'm just wasting energy at this point, just to keep trying. I did like three or four fights so far trying to beat this, but I just couldn't. So, next up, it's gonna be uh, the clan boss, guys. The clan boss. Um, I can do about two, two and a half million on, on the hard boss. All the others do about four million, of course. Uh, Murdering has the counter attack setup. He's way better off there. Uh, the void, the void guys have it much, much better than us also. Especially Hades. Hades has like three level 60. He has already a cold heart at level 60. His account is crazy. And the basic uh, team that I use is this, as I explained before. It's basically uh, Gladiator applying his uh, decrease attack. Once that is applied, then I just survive more, way more uh, on the clan boss and try to apply poisons with um, Outlaw Monk and Corpse Collector. So that's that's it basically. In terms of dungeons, not that far ahead. I was just farming Force Keep all day today at stage 13. It takes two and a half to three minutes per run. <laughs> And for Dragon, I did stage 10. I haven't tried 11 or 12, to be honest, but I think I won't be able to pass 12. Um, yeah, this is going to be the team. Yeah, this is going to be the team. I'm trying to slowly level up the champions needed for uh, Relic Keeper, but I do not have a War Maiden. I didn't summon her from the shard, the 55 shards that we had. Um, Murdering actually summoned her, so he was... Uh, lucky there as well and yeah that's it basically i have to farm for warming i spent about 500 energy on her stage and yeah couldn't get her to drop not even in easy not even <laughs> in hard uh not even normal hard or brutal so we already have one one champion down there's no way we can clear this it's just too much spirit too many spirit champions here 
I can't brute force uh, my way through this. Yeah, and it goes very slowly at least. Probably Thanasel and Corpse Crawler are gonna stay alive. Maybe. So guys, two and a half minutes later and we're finally through the Dragon Boss. He's a spirit. So he's basically gonna three to four shot my Thanasel. So two shots there. Three. He needs to take the breath, I think. And then he's gonna be way, way worse. Yeah, he stuns. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's no way Thanasel can get through this. But as you can see, he he survives. He survives uh, for quite a while. I mean, if I had some kind of poisons through the Nassau, maybe this would have gone way better. But um, yeah, there's no way we can drop that. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. The Nassau just, just died. And I even tried and bought 900 gems worth of shards. I tried to open them to try to get something good out of them. I think I'm gonna do this again. I mean, I've got 2,800 gems. I'm like, okay, we have one, one free, one free here. If we get something good here, I'm just gonna be extremely happy. But I've, I've just been summoning. Uh, yeah, we got a Heria spirit. She's not gonna help. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna get um, some gems. Yeah, use these gems. Whatever. So we're gonna do we're gonna do more summons on this account, guys. And hope we get something good. And it's a hope. Uh, yeah, we got an epic champion. It's hope. Uh, she's okay, but I'm probably just gonna use her. Um, probably just gonna use her as food. I haven't used any epics as food yet on this account. So let's go for the temple. And hope for something force, epic force, please. Um, Harris, Bulkwalker, Bulkwalker is good for the attack down, Courtier, and Valerie. Skullworms, I think I had six Skullworms from uh, forming the dungeon. Ares, she's farmable. And I already have one at level 30. I might actually use her as a farmer. Bulk Walker here is great because he has the strong version of the decreased attack. And he also applies an increased defense buff on all allies. He also gets a reflect damage buff on all allies for one turn when attacked with a critical hit. So, yeah, not, not a bad pull for Bulk Walker, but in terms of epics, yeah, I wish I had. So, I'm going to show you my vault, guys, uh, on this account. And my vault is the best thing about this account, guys. I've got two legendaries that I'm going to give away when I give this account away. I've got a skull crown here. I've got one of the epics needed for Razin. I've got a steel skull, a royal guard, a frozen banshee. And I, had, I have like eight of the rares needed again for Razin. So three quarters of, of Razin are almost done for this account. And you just need about four rares. And you can get that Razin. So... The guy who's gonna win this account is gonna have two legendaries, almost three, Royal Guard, a Steel Skull, a Skull Crown. He's gonna be set to um, just progress on this account, but not with the champions that I currently have. So yeah, this was the account update, guys. I'm not, I'm not liking the challenge. I'm not liking the challenge. And the reason is because I'm gonna have another two weeks of just trying to farm with the Nassau. That's the problem here. Um, if you're behind, you're gonna stay behind and pretty much if you're ahead you're gonna stay ahead that's it uh, if you don't have the champions to farm you won't be able to farm uh, the gear as efficiently it's just gonna be a very slow grind everyone else is gonna be way ahead like hades was at silver but he dropped so he's now at bronze four um i was actually at bronze four but i also dropped so i could farm a bit of the greater hole so this is the greater hole i have already three three points in the force 90% win ratio guys So I do select my battles before I go in and I'm bronze three so Yeah um, Thanks by the way to everyone who helped out with the referrals. I got the energy here have three times three day bo XP boost I also got one of the voids, but that wasn't really good and doing my best doing my best We'll see we'll see uh, what else comes with this affinity challenge Thanks a lot guys for watching, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!